Owen Quine. He's a very famous novelist. Who's that man? He's helping us find Daddy. The Silkworm takes place in the sort of world of the literati in a very kind of vibrant way. He said it was going to be a book about how a silkworm gets boiled alive like he has been by the critics. Strike receives a visit from the wife of a novelist who's gone missing. He's gone off before, only this time it's been 10 days, and our girl's missing her daddy and getting upset, and we need him back. She doesn't think anything's happened to him. She thinks he's just gone off in a sulk because no one liked his new book enough. And she implores Strike to find him. Please. He's written a book which exists in manuscript form, and it says a lot of things about a lot of people. He attacks his publisher, his editor, me, other writers. It is a thinly disguised, nasty little allegory that deserves nothing but burning. So there's immediately a lot of suspects. It's a novel about novels with another novel inside it. The writer, Quine, has written this book called Bombix Mori and uh, we get sort of flashes of the world that he's written, which is like a Jacobean sort of, like, mad kind of murderous sort of landscape. So they yeah. can all grab a bit and rip it. It's Joe's take on the literary world. Never trust a novelist. A lot of what Silkworm's about is the fact that writers can't hide their true feeling about something. If you want lifelong camaraderie, you join the army. If you want peers or glory in your failure, work with novelists. Joe writes amazing dialogue and I got a lot about the character from that. I, I mean, I really felt a rhythm to him from the way he talked to other people. He's quite rude to other people sometimes. Robin, would you make up Mr Baker's final bill? But you're not finished. We are. This strike world's interesting because there is something that's sort of timeless about it and there's something that sort of nods back to the, sort of that detective world and stuff, but it's also quite fresh. He's a very important writer. Those not good? He's not a fan of short sentences. I think Robin's interesting because she's complicated. She's more than just a psychic because she's got proper sort of desires, you know, she knows what she wants. She's a strong female character. I'll drive us. You sure? I could probably manage with an automatic. Oh, I'm sure. I'll drive us, definitely. Strike is almost allowing her to be who she always wanted to be. He kind of embodies a kind of a freedom and a sense of, like, respect for herself. This is a bit... I've got this, trust me. I am a very visual writer. I do see things very vividly in my mind's eye, and I tend to describe what I'm literally seeing in the case of the strike books. One of the great things about Silkworm is that it does show all the different parts of London. Joe's publishers allowed us to shoot on the roof of their building. Work with great writers, and your readers will come. And it looks out over the whole of the Thames. Texturally, visually, it's fantastic. I'm worried about declining book sales. Everyone I've met so far in publishing either has a drink in their hand or will only meet for lunch. It's not a bad life, is it? Cut there, reset, lowly. I think what differentiates this show from other detective shows is the complexity of the characters, is just how well-rounded Strike and Robin are, the sort of complexity of their relationship, the sort of slow growth of whatever it is, how, wherever they're going, because they're interesting characters. Got something for you. What is it? Open it. Surveillance course. You find it, I'll pay for it. So, partners, yeah? 